In this video, I'm gonna show you why you may wanna try Keto Light. Hello and welcome to Total Health with Dr. Nick. My purpose is to inspire, empower, and motivate you to live longer, healthier, and more abundant lives. In this video, I get a lot of questions about, so I thought it'd be a good time to do this, and that is what exactly is keto light? For some of you out there, you're thinking, I've heard of the ketogenic diet, I've heard of ketosis, but keto light? Well, guys, it's something you definitely want to try. In fact, I pretty much do it because it works with the percentages that work better for my type of diet, my type of body, and the type of demand I put on it. So you may want to try it out, but we'll talk about if you want to try Keto Light or not. But guys, also too, if you like what we're talking about, please make sure you like, you share, which is really, really important because I know you have friends that maybe need some valuable health information who are struggling with their health and you can share it and become a hero to them. And also make sure you comment. I love seeing your comments. I try to answer as many as I can and make sure you click that little bell notification so you get notified anytime I do a video. And if I earned your trust, please make sure you also subscribe to my channel. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this because a lot of people have questions about it. I wanna make sure you get all the answers. So basically, Keto Light is a slightly different version of keto. And what does that mean? Well, keto traditionally, or what we call true keto, basically works in certain percentages and it's based on your calories. So those of you who are new to the ketogenic diet, I'll explain what exactly ketosis is in just a moment, but it's based on certain percentages. Now, it doesn't mean you have to be perfect with it, but it's based on certain percentages so you know it's a mainly high fat, moderate protein, low carb diet. Not no carb, but low carb. You're gonna get carbs in it, so it's not like you're eliminating an entire food group, so don't panic on me, but it is low carb. So, basically you get into ketosis by eating a 70% fat diet, about 20% protein and about 10% carbs. That's really the ratio and the percentages that you typically do to get into ketosis in a traditional ketogenic diet. Now, what is ketosis? Well, eating high levels of fat causes your body to switch from a sugar burning machine, which typically it is. Most of the people on the standard American diet or the SAD diet are eating a lot of sugars, processed refined carbs, bread, rice, cereals, grains, and sugar itself, so you predominantly eat a sugar uh, diet. Now, when you're into ketosis, because you're eating so much more fat, it causes your body to go into fat burning mode. So it's a great thing because your body works better off of fats, it's a much cleaner fuel source. In fact, reactive oxygen species, ROS, those free radicals we hear all the time, really are produced by using a high sugar type diet. So when we start to change into a fat burning machine, which is what we're designed to do, guys don't think this is the body going into an emergency state like you hear so many celebrities talk about. It's not that at all. This is actually what your body is designed to do. It's like a hybrid car. It goes from one type of fuel to another. It goes from sugar to fat, and it becomes what we call fat adapted. And that's what you really want. You want your body versatile, where it can go from one source to the other, basically making sure that you're eating mainly fats because you want to be a fat burner. It's a lot better for brain function. It's a lot better for your mitochondria, and it's a lot better for inflammation. It's healthier overall for your body getting off the sugars and getting into more fats. Now, what exactly is a ketone? Well, in your liver, your liver converts fats into ketones, and ketones is what your body then uses for fuel. So ketones are a preferred fuel source that happens when your liver starts to convert the fats to ketones, so that's where they come from. So what exactly then is keto light? Well, keto light just simply means you're gonna to start to change your percentages. You're gonna take your proteins and bring them up higher to the 50 to 60% range. You're gonna take your fats and you're gonna lower them to 30 to 40% range and you're gonna keep your carbs right where they were at 10%, okay? What that's gonna do, it's not gonna kick you out of ketosis. I know some of you are thinking, well, what about gluconeogenesis? That's when your body makes new glucose out of another compound like a protein, it does it like that. And it does it for survival. It is a survival driven process, not a supply driven process. So it's really more for demand. If your body needs more blood sugar, it's gonna convert it. But it doesn't happen because of excess protein in your diet. So get that myth 
out of your head because that's not really where it comes from. I thought that myself, so I don't mean to pick because I used to think that myself years ago, but now I know the difference. But really the key is this. Some of you have different demands. Like I have more of a demand than some people because I work out more. I might work out to where I need more protein and I'm not gonna get enough of it if I'm taking in a fewer percent, maybe 20, 25% based on a traditional or your true keto diet. So what I've done is I've in essence raised mine up and then dropped my fat a little bit. So that way my, my calories stay in the same range. Carbs are still low, they're still in the same range there, but my proteins and my fats have changed. And like I said, this will work better with a lot of your you know, typical athletes that just need more protein because when you're tearing protein down, or muscles I should say, you need to replace it with protein. So this is gonna be a little better for you. So try this out, let me know how it works. Now, how do you know if this is gonna work for you? Well, some people just try it out and see if it works. That's the easiest way to do it. Some of you, there's also genetic testing that we do in our office. Maybe you can find somebody near you or if you wanna get in touch with us, we could do genetic testing and see exactly what percentages and ratios you do better with. But that's one of the ways to do it. But basically, try it out for yourself. You might find and say, well, wait a minute. I am I still gonna lose weight? Am I still gonna lose fat? Am I still gonna get in shape? Yes. You could do all that. In fact, start to maybe increase now your high intensity training. Maybe start to work out a little heavier, a little harder, a little faster. Reason is because now you're getting in more protein, your body can handle it. You'll actually recuperate faster. So go ahead and try that out, see if it works for you, okay guys? So hopefully I dispelled the myth for you and gave you a better idea what exactly keto light is. And hey, if you're looking for more information about the keto diet and really have no idea where to start, check out my link down below. You'll see my keto course down there. Click on the link and we will walk you through from beginning to end exactly what to do. We'll teach you how to set up your macros calendar, how to get into my fitness pal app and set up all your, your numbers so that way you can track your proteins, fats, and carbs every single day. We'll give you a diet plan, we'll give you recipe guides, we'll give you shopping guides, we'll give you videos that'll keep you motivated and inspired. So it's a really amazing program. I'm very, very proud of it. So anyway, if it's a fit for you, let us know and we'll help you out any which way we can. But guys, I love and appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't go away. Make sure you check out my other videos too. This is Dr. Nick. God bless, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.